Did you know that the global economy is facing some ominous signs that have caught the attention of renowned investor Michael Burry? Mainstream media is not highlighting the truth, as always, and as always, we'll be late to the party. Today, we're going to delve into Burry's predictions that the end of 2023 could be even worse than the devastating 2008 financial crisis. If you don't already know him, let me tell you that Michael Burry's not your typical run-of-the-mill investor. He gained fame for his uncanny ability to predict the housing market crash in 2008, a prediction that earned him significant recognition. With his expertise and track record, it is worth paying attention to his latest warning signals. Burry has a superb track record of identifying market shifts. He made notable investments, such as GameStop and Tesla, and betting against Kathy Wood's flagship ARK Innovation Fund. Burry has consistently warned about what he views as the greatest speculative bubble of all time in all things, including meme stocks and cryptocurrencies. He's cautioned that such a bubble could eventually burst, leading to a significant market crash. In this video, we'll explore Burry's belief that the end of 2023 could bring about a crisis worse than what we experienced in 2008. We're going to examine the current economic landscape, the factors that could support Burry's prediction, as well as those that challenge it. Now, before we dive into the details, it's essential to note that predicting the future of the global economy is a complex task. Later in this video, I'm going to provide more information to shed light on the argument supporting and challenging Burry's claim, allowing you to form your own informed opinion. So, let's begin by examining the current economic landscape. Do you know that the latest June inflation reading was the last one to report a decreasing trend? According to numbers, CPI is expected to start rising from July onwards. In 2022, due to the surge in inflation, the U.S. financial regulator had to approve stricter monetary policies. This led to a decline in prices across stocks and cryptocurrencies, as risks on investing instruments were stifled. Recently, Michael Burry, renowned for his accurate forecasts, tweeted a warning about the U.S. economy. He predicted that the country would experience a recession and a new round of inflation in 2023. Burry believes that the inflation rate, which has already reached its peak, will drop further, possibly even turning negative, before rising significantly. This significant decrease in the Consumer Price Index, or CPI, is expected to trigger the recession that's been anticipated for some time. And then, to make matters worse, inflation will start rising, and then the Fed will be forced to raise rates again. This can lead to significant risks in the financial markets and banking-related stocks. Burry, often referred to as the Big Short, has a track record of making successful predictions about financial markets. In a since-deleted tweet, he warned about the state of banking and the financial world. Burry criticized Silicon Valley Bank's executives for their reckless behavior, drawing parallels to past failures like the dot-com bubble in 2000 and the 2008 housing crisis. He highlighted that inflated egos and a thirst for profit often lead to disastrous risks and subsequent failures. Burry noted that governments tend to resort to printing more money in the face of such failures, a strategy he believes has been overused due to its effectiveness. This raises concerns about the state of global markets, and serves as a reminder that reckless behavior can have severe consequences. Burry's comparison between Silicon Valley Bank and Enron, the energy trading giant that faced bankruptcy due to accounting fraud, highlights the need for greater transparency and accountability in the financial industry. Burry has consistently warned about the economy and stock market, cautioning against the potential for the greatest speculative bubble of all time. He has advised individual investors to be cautious with meme stocks and cryptocurrencies, expressing concerns about a potential mother of all crashes. Now, despite these warnings, some investors have continued engaging in speculative behavior, leading to questions about whether the markets are actually heading for a reckoning. This provides a glimpse into Michael Burry's predictions and his concerns about the state of the economy. Later in the video, we're going to explore additional factors that could either support or challenge Burry's claims. The U.S. inflation rate has surged to a 40-year high, reaching 9.1% in June and staying above 7% in November, far surpassing the U.S. Federal Reserve's target of 2%. In response, 
The central bank raised its base interest rate from near zero to over 6%, with indications that it may peak at over 7% in 2023. Higher interest rates are designed to curb inflation by discouraging consumption, investment, and employment. However, they can also have adverse effects on business earnings, economic growth, and asset prices, potentially leading to a recession. Michael Burry anticipates a resurgence in inflation and a weakened economy in 2023. According to his analysis, this scenario would prompt the Federal Reserve to cut interest rates at first, while the government increases expenditure to stimulate growth. The combination of rate cuts and increased government spending aims to boost demand and potentially leads to an upswing in inflation. Beyond Burry's predictions, other experts have also expressed concerns about the global economic landscape. An economics professor has revealed a potential time frame for an actual recession. Billionaire Ray Dalio has identified warning signs of a possible fiat currency collapse. Additionally, the Bank of England is expected to push the UK into a recession by the end of 2023. These indicators and opinions contribute to the broader conversation about the potential economic challenges that may lay ahead. Now, while these factors highlight potential risks and weaknesses in the current economic landscape, it is important to note that predicting the future with certainty is inherently challenging. Now, let's talk about my thoughts on Michael Burry's predictions. The man is undoubtedly controversial, but there's no denying that he has a knack for this stuff. I mean, his successful bet against the housing market in 2008 and his early recognition of the speculative bubble unfolding in recent years speaks volumes about his abilities. Look, predicting the future of the global economy is like trying to navigate a maze blindfolded. It's insanely difficult, and even the smartest minds can get it wrong. But here's the thing. Burry has a track record that demands attention. He has a history of spotting potential risks and seeing through the chaos. Now, that being said, we can't solely rely on his predictions. The financial landscape is complex and there are countless factors at play. We need to take into account other indicators, expert opinions, and economic factors to form a well-rounded view. So here's my take. Burry's predictions are worth considering, but we shouldn't take them as gospel. They're just one piece of the puzzle. It's crucial for us to engage in critical thinking, do our own research, and form our own opinions about the future. What do you think about Burry's claims? Do you agree with him, or do you have a different perspective? Let me know in the comments down below. I'm eager to hear your thoughts and have a lively discussion about the topic. Remember, nobody has a crystal ball, and the future is uncertain. So let's dive into the conversation and exchange ideas. Together, we can gain valuable insights from different viewpoints. Thanks for tuning in, and I'm looking forward to hearing from you down in the comments section.